morning it's chosen bristol wedding fair day it's sunday the 21st of october and we're heading off to the paintworks for the fair there but it should be lots of fun usually is good crowd it's literally six minutes from door to door so it's really good that it's around the corner no traveling involved and it means my husband can come and help me a little bit and then come back home and then come back and help me pack up and stuff so it's really really good it's our last fair of the season last fair of the year and we don't currently have any more booked in for next year so we'll see how that goes looking forward to a good day of networking with suppliers from the local area most of whom we already know it's always good to have a quick catch up and say hello to people and stuff and meet new people there's always new people at fairs that i've never met before I'm looking forward to a good day and yeah it's really good to be around the corner and it's nice for it to be the last one of the season. I really love them on the day when I'm there, but the the lead up, the packing at home, the setting up, the packing at the venue and getting home, and often there's a lot of traveling involved. It's really hard work and really tiring, and it takes me quite a while to recover properly. And of course, we did one last weekend in London, so it'll be nice to get this one out of the way and over with, and then I can concentrate on other aspects of my business because it just consumes so much time thinking about the fair. Anyway, I'm going to go and get some breakfast and pack up the car because we haven't done that yet so it should take us about 10-15 minutes and then we'll be on our way so it's probably about quarter to nine now so should be there for just after nine. Yeah. Cars all packed and I am in it and that means that we're packed <laughs> of course we've had a bit of a drama with one of the stand pieces breaking so I'm hoping that's not going to cause us issues we'll see when we get there we might be able to fix it in some fashion so yeah we're going to get off it's 10 past nine so we're a bit later than we planned but it should be fine James is helping so we should have plenty of time Stands all set up. I just had to dash back to the car to get my business cards because I forgot them. So I'm carrying them back and once that's done, change your shoes, got the toilet and we are set up. It's almost 11, about 5 to, so just in the nick of time. Boys, pretty things can be evil, pretty tough to avoid, pretty hard on it, eight days a week, causing enough fuss in the big city. Eight days a week, eight days a week, suck eight days a week. Spilling drinks down my shirt, wasted, hooligan trying to flirt. Basic home on my own, let the good times roll. Yeah, I'm far too gone, but now she wanna talk to me. Think about foreigners, they taking our jobs, we should send them away. I can't believe what I heard, how she said these words, but I'm far too gone. You should let me love you. I can make you change. Pretty girl gets the boys Pretty things can be evil Pretty tough to avoid Pretty hard on it Eight days a week Cause enough fuss in the big city Eight days a week Eight days a week Sucker, eight days a week it, all finished all packed up all in the car and ready to go home it was a good day it was really busy this morning i spoke to lots of couples quite a few seemed really keen and interested so we'll see how that goes in the afternoon it died down quite a lot but i got round and spoke to a lot of suppliers a lot of people i already know and was catching up with and a few new faces or i knew the their company but not the faces so it was nice to meet people and put first to the name i'm really tired it's been quite a long day i've been really busy recently and i haven't really caught up from london either last weekend i'm gonna sort of scale down a bit this week and take it a little bit easier and focus on a few new and different things business wise so i'm not sure about fairs this was the last one i had booked in i haven't got any more for 2018 and I haven't booked any for 2019 so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that yet but I've got a few things to work out and we'll see what happens. I might take a break in the spring and then 
start again this time next year but like I said just see how it goes so for now that's me I'm not sure when I'll next get a chance to do a video I'm not really sure what I've got lined up I'm sure there'll be something soon